Sometimes, for reasons that aren't clear, the Fanatec wheelbase disappears in at least one of its modes. Right now, mine seems to be working fine. I have the CSLDD wheelbase. This is the Fanatec control panel, which you should already have if you have your Fanatec device installed, since this is where you basically access the settings and update the drivers and whatnot, update the firmware. If you don't have this, you can get Fanatec control panel from the Fanatec site. And right now mine is working. Mine is indeed just uh, a red light right now. And it says I'm in PC mode. If I hit that button, then it switches to Xbox mode. Uh, it's a green light. And here it's saying, hey, you're in Xbox mode. If you really want to use this on a PC, you need to change it. And then I hit the button again. And now it is yellow, even though it doesn't show it here. And that's the compatibility mode for the Fanatec wheelbase that puts it in the CSW, CSW V2.5 mode. The older games just seem to want compatibility mode in order to properly see the wheel. Uh, for me at least, and it doesn't hurt for me to have it in compatibility mode for newer games, so I just leave it there. But at any rate, mine is working fine. I have put it in all three modes, and it showed up here in the control panel. But every once in a while, at least one of them, compatibility mode or PC mode, will just disappear, and it will not be visible to the system. And at that point, you can get really stuck on trying to fix it. So if that's your situation, it, you know, it was working and now it quit working, then um, you can use the Windows Device Manager in Windows 10 and 11 to try to fix it, to get it where you can reinstall it basically and have it work. And so there's various ways to get to Device Manager, right clicking on my computer and selecting from properties. Uh, but I'll just show the way that should work no matter what, whether you're on 10 or 11, is to go to settings from the from the search box and then go to device manager and uh, open it that way. Once I have device manager open, now comes the magic. What you need to do is two things that will help you figure out your Fanatec wheel connection you need to say devices by container here under the view menu in device manager. Now notice that I have this entry for Fanatec, but I only have this one entry for the wheel in compatibility mode because it is currently in compatibility mode. So the other thing you want to do is say show hidden devices. When everything's working right, and, and mind you, I just have the wheel, Fanatec wheel. I don't have Fanatec pedals, so yours could look differently. But notice that I have three entries here. Fanatec Club Sport wheel base V2.5, that's the compatibility mode. Fanatec wheel that says Xbox gaming, Xbox gaming device, so that's the Xbox mode. And Fanatec wheel that says USB input device, uh, this is the PC mode. These two are grayed out because they're currently not active. If I hit the button on the wheelbase, you'll see now when it when it refreshes, now the compatibility mode is grayed out and still the Xbox mode is grayed out, but now the PC mode is showing. And if I hit it again, it'll refresh the device manager and now both the compatibility mode and PC mode are grayed out and the Xbox mode is showing. This is what it looks like when it's working right. When it gets in a very bad mood and you can't see either compatibility mode or PC mode in the control panel, you will probably go into device manager, do those two things I said, devices by container and show hidden devices, and you will see an exclamation mark on one of these. So for instance, uh, here, see this exclamation mark on my, uh, for some reason, on my external audio device. That's kind of the example of what you might see. And you'll likely see multiple entries for the same thing, which seems to be deadly. 
At that point, what you want to do is unplug the wheelbase from your PC so that they're all all the Fanatec entries are gray and just delete them. Uh, I've never been able to just go like right click on this and delete it, but I can right click on the individual ones and say uninstall device. But mind you, you want the wheel to be unplugged because otherwise as you're trying to uninstall it, it's trying to reinstall it. So if you don't have these three entries or if any of them have an exclamation mark or if you have more than three, uh, some of them with exclamation mark and your wheels not showing up properly, then go into all of these Fanatec entries and right click on each one of these and uninstall the device. Now you can plug your wheel back in. You might want to restart the computer just to make it extra clean. But once it restarts, plug the wheel back in and it will start reinstalling the drivers. I think you have to have it in PC mode when you do that. And it'll start with the PC driver. Then you can click the button and go into the other modes. And if everything's working right, you should end up with just like this. Three entries in Device Manager. And as you push the button, each one will highlight like I showed you. So I hope that helps for those times when your Fanatec wheelbase is not showing up in the Fanatec control panel.